Number two is the hypoglycemia station. The task says that your FY2 work in ANE and the patient has been admitted because of ch um, shortness of breath and uh, chest infection. So the patient is admitted in the ward and she's feeling unwell. So talk to the patient and address her concern or manage the patient. Special note none. You will enter the cubicle, you introduce yourself to the patient, you will find the examiner telling you that the patient is not conscious. Uh, so the patient, you know that the patient is responsive, but she is not conscious. This means that you cannot take history. So what you can do right now is, to say, first of all, you have to look at the monitor. You can say that I can see that my patient oxygen is X and blood pressure is X and breathing rate is X and pulse rate is X and body temperature is X. So my patient vitals are normal. I'm going to start checking my patient airway. So move to the patient as if the patient is conscious. You will tell the patient I am Dr. X from X department. Um, I am going to have a look at your wristband if you don't mind. The examiner will tell you doctor your patient name is X. Or you can say on the wristband it's written X. So um, then tell the patient I'm going to have a look at your airway so please bear with me. Then you will do the head tilt chin lift and look at the airway. Though you know that the oxygen is quite normal. But still you have to do it by yourself. Why? Because the patient is unconscious. If the patient was conscious you will not do the head tilt and chin lift. You will simply look inside the mouth. Um, so head tilt and chin lift right now. I can see the airway is patent. Uh, okay, let's now move to the breathing part. For the breathing part, I'm going to listen to the chest. So please bear with me. Ensure privacy and you will be having a chaperone. Listen to the chest. You'll find the chest is absolutely fine and clear. No abnormal breathing sound, no wheeze, no crepitation. Okay, this means that the B section is confirmed to be clear. Check. Move to the next part, which is the C. I can see that my patient blood pressure is quite normal and there is no signs of external bleeding here. So the C portion is absolutely fine and no abnormality on the ACG. Sometimes there can be like some tachycardia, but this tachycardia is not significant at all. You will get to know in a while why she could be tachycardiac. Um, so now I need to move to the D section. In the D section, actually, you will find that I need to assess your level of consciousness. So please bear with me, which is which is the GCS. Uh, in the GCS, actually, um, okay. Number one, Mrs. X, um, can you tell me where we are? Uh, the examiner will tell you, doctor, your patient is moaning. Uh, this means that two in the verbal response. Uh, Mrs. X, can you open the eyes and keep them open for me? Uh, the patient is trying to open the eyes but can, cannot keep her, cannot keep them open. This means um, three in the eye response. So two in, mood, uh, two in verbal and three in eye. Um, Mrs. X, uh, can you raise your right arm? Uh, okay, the examiner will tell you, doctor, your patient localizes pain, for example. So this is five in the motor response. So five and two and three, this means that the patient GCS score is 10, which is lower than the normal. Uh, so uh, right now, part of the D also is the blood sugar. Do the blood sugar right now. The examiner will tell you, do it, doctor. You will pick up glucometer from the table and put the glucose, glucose strip inside it and then pretend that you're going to measure the blood sugar you will find right now that the examiner will telling you that doctor the blood sugar is 2.5 this means that actually the patient is having problem with the blood sugar so um, can i check the patient medical record the examiner will tell you doctor your patient is diabetic and is receiving insulin okay so right now i'm going to start uh, move to the table you will find uh, glucagon one gram and you can find iv dextrose 10 percent and you can find also iv dextrose 20 percent usually you start with glucagon because it's faster options giving im because if you wait till setting up the cannula you will wait for four four or five more minutes so i will give the patient glucagon one gram im right now the examiner will tell you, assume doctor, what's next? I need to measure the blood sugar in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, doctor, the blood sugar is 3.6. Okay, I need to give my patient right now IV dextrose 10%, 200 milli, over 15 minutes. You can give either 200 milli of dextrose 10% or you can give 100 milli of dextrose 20% over uh, 15 minutes. 
both are over 15 minutes uh, the examiner will tell you what's the next step you will say I will uh, measure the blood sugar after 10 to 15 minutes again the examiner will tell you okay doctor the blood sugar level right now is uh, 4.5 so now the blood sugar is above 4 which is the needed which was our aim so what's the next step I'm going to give the patient long acting carbohydrate could be two biscuits could be a cup of milk could be is a meal of his or her choice okay uh, to maintain the blood glucose level the examiner will tell you okay doctor speak to me right now what's your next step first of all I need to document this in the patient record number two when the patient's awake I will take history from the patient I'll get to know what happened exactly and what is the reason of the hypoglycemia number three I will advise the patient on spotting the, spotting the signs of hypoglycemia and how to deal with that Number four, I will advise the patient also about the insulin dose and the insulin review and the uh, diabetes review also from time to time. And I will advise the patient to carry sugary thing uh, around him or her whenever she is feeling hypoglycemic. That's it. So the aim of this station was to know that the blood sugar is part of the D. Many people don't know about that. So always count the blood sugar as one of the resuscitation protocol um, and don't forget about it.